Hey guys, uh, this is just an unboxing video of uh, one of the Saddle Ridge $20 gold pieces from the hoard they found in California. Um, both these coins are bought off of uh, Amazon.com. One's my father's, one's mine. Mine's on top, so of course I'm not opening his. Alright, let's see what we got here. Of course it's a big box. Shipped FedEx Express. So we can cut this open. So, let's see what we got here. Uh, sorry about that. So we have a bunch of paper, and we have an inner box. <laughs> let's do this. All right. And that, I think, is everything in there. Okay. So, tamper evident tape we have across here. We have here, important notice, if misplaced during shipment, please contact Kagan's Incorporated. And it gives the address and I think phone number too. Alright, so, so we have here, let's open it up. In here is the wood box that the gold coin is in, the graded gold coin. Only well, get to do unboxing for once, I guess. Can't tape it all back up and do it again. Let's see. I'm gonna scratch the box. It's in here with this stupid knife. Alright. Alright, now. We have a paper here from Kagan's. Um, other, other items available from him. Of course, you have a Humber $50 gold piece, some other things. Um, he, I know he's into ter territorial stuff. And I actually have this down here. I own this. I bought it from him at the a a last year. The Sacramento Assayer Hoard Gold Nuggets. I guess you that. I do own that. Maybe I'll do a video on that soon since it was um, included in here. I don't really know too much about it. I just thought it was cool that... Uh, some sort of hoard they found that was an old assayer from the gold rush time. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, so we have a envelope here. Free one-year membership to the American Numismatic Association. Alright, some other things on the ANA. Free offer on four complimentary digital issues of CoinWorld. Let's do this. Okay, what other things they can mix it in? Profit from gold and rare coins now. What is this? Uh, from Kagan, I guess it's a book. Um, I guess you have to call now to receive your edition of it. It's in a plain envelope. It's sort of interesting, I guess. I think all this stuff is being included. All right, then we have this card here. It says, Dear Saddle Ridge Horde, Treasure Enthusiast, congratulations on your purchase. We at Kagan's are thrilled to be handling this unique collection. The largest buried treasure find in U.S. history and together with the discoverers are delighted to be sharing it with you. Uh, it goes on to talk about it. Um, the couple things we got, subscription of Coin World, all that that you get for free, and digital a digital signature from Donald Kagan. See that there. So, <laughs> it's obviously a, it's a printout. All right, let's get down to it now. So the first thing that's evident in here is we get a free red book from 2015. Hardcover. It's gonna be cheap out on the soft cover. Uh, so just a lot of you guys know about the red book. You get one free if you buy one of these coins, which they're expensive enough. You should. At least they're uh, 
treating their customers. All right, so all we have left is the, the good part. Let's put this out of the way here. That's what everyone's been waiting for, including me for a while. Get the bubble wrap out of the way. Okay. So we have a paper on top of the saddle ridge box with the cool burned, this is wood, the cool burned in SR with that little, I guess, ridge. It's kind of a logo. All right, let's see what we got here. I guess it's the receipt since I didn't see one. Okay. This is my receipt here. Let me try to cover up some of my details. It's for an 1889S with motto, Type 3 20 dollars gold piece in PCGS MS63. Paid 5500 um, plus shipping too, we paid a little bit. So, a little under $6,000. But the box is pretty cool. I thought it would be hardwood. It appears the top cover is a plywood that's stained. The sides look like they're solid. But, uh, let's open it up here and see what we got. So as you can see, my coin shifted. And here's my 1889S PCGS MS63 Saddle Ridge Horde gold coin. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty cool with the gold label. I'll show some close ups later. But, uh, really cool coin. This was found along with another, uh, I think, 1,426 coins along with this one in the hoard. So it comes with this coin in this pretty cool wood box. Saddle Ridge Hoard. And it has the dates here, 1847 to 1894. That's all the coins found. Um, and of course, you have the booklet, which has pictures of the coins and they're found in the cans. And then a uh, certificate of authenticity from Kagan's. Okay. You also have the Saddle Ridge little logo burned into the box right above the coin. Pretty cool box. But the main thing is the coin. Um, a lot of people, including me, were waiting for this hoard to be sold. Uh, me and my father bought, both bought one the same date, but uh, it's interesting how there's a lot of 1889 S20s in 63 being sold, but we were on there for a while trying to pick which one we liked, and uh, as we were looking, a couple were being sold, and you can see the, the, the amount that are being offered going down as we were looking at it, and uh, I think we both picked out some really nice ones, me and him both picked out a nice one for ourselves. But, uh, the interesting part was we looked at the PCGS price guide value and it really wasn't that much different than what they were charging for this hoard coin for any, basically any coin that was being sold in 63, it's 1889S20, is worth anywhere between $4,500 to $6,000 depending on what it looks like. Now this was being offered $5,500 to have one from the hoard and we thought that was a pretty decent deal to have one, um, to actually have one from the hoard. Because you see it on TV, everyone's talking about it, it's seen everywhere, it's the largest buried treasure found in the United States. And uh, we both got one, and I'm happy to, happy to say I'm an owner of a Saddle Ridge hoard coin, and a nice, brilliant, uncirculated at that. Here's another view of the reverse, I don't know if you could see the coin very well from where the camera is but it's it's nice it's nice I picked one with a little bit of red spotting on it which is it's just natural for a for a gold coin um, you can see them on, on Kruger Rands and silver e and gold eagles and uh, excuse me and uh, other gold coins you see them every once in a while even buffaloes which are supposed to be 495 I've seen red spots on them so it shows me this coin wasn't dipped, it wasn't fooled with by Kagan's, which they're coin conservators, so it shouldn't be, or the original finders. Um, I believe that uh, I saw a video 
of Don Kagan talking about these coins. And he said that it was interesting that these coins, when they were found, a lot of times the finders, the hoards, they will just dip them and clean them up and try to look at what they have. And these people, they found them and they had enough sense to stop themselves from cleaning them and have them professionally conserved by Kagans, which, if you don't know already, this it's a very, very big rare coin company, which has a very, very good reputation, and uh, I believe they've been around since the 30s. Uh, anyway, pretty cool. Thanks for watching.